Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Pasta bowls, quick, hearty pasta dishes with a variety of sauces, from bolognese to pesto, often served in a takeaway bowl. Here's a reduced version of the recipe guide for preparing pasta bowls. Basic ingredients for pasta bowls. Pasta, penne, spaghetti, fusilli, or your preferred shape, 75, 100 g per person. Sauce options. Tomato, crushed tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, onion, basil, slash oregano, salt, and pepper. Cream, heavy cream, butter, garlic, parmesan cheese, parsley, salt, and pepper. Pesto, fresh basil, garlic, pine nuts, parmesan, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Aglio e olio, olive oil, garlic, red pepper flakes, parsley. Proteins, grilled chicken, ground beef, shrimp, tofu, or bacon, optional. Veggies, spinach, zucchini, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, or roasted veggies. Cheese, parmesan, mozzarella, ricotta, feta, or goat cheese, optional. Toppings, fresh herbs, lemon zest, chili flakes, olives, nuts, balsamic glaze. Steps to assemble pasta bowls. Cook pasta, boil pasta in salted water until al dente. Drain and reserve some pasta water. Prepare sauce. For tomato sauce, saute garlic, onions, and tomatoes, with herbs. For cream sauce, melt butter, add cream, and stir in parmesan. For pesto, blend basil, garlic, parmesan, pine nuts, and olive oil. Cook protein, grill, saute, or roast your protein, chicken, shrimp, etc. Saute or roast veggies, saute or roast vegetables with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Assemble, toss cooked pasta with sauce, add protein and veggies. Finish, top with cheese, herbs, nuts, or drizzle with balsamic glaze. Serve and enjoy your customizable pasta bowl. Pizza slices, thin, crispy pizza slices sold on the go, with various toppings to choose from. Pizza slices. Ingredients. For the dough. 250g all-purpose flour. 7g active dry yeast. 160 milliliters warm water. 1 tablespoon olive oil. 1 teaspoon sugar. Half a teaspoon salt. For the sauce. 1 cup tomato sauce. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon olive oil. Half a teaspoon oregano and basil. Salt and pepper. For toppings. Shredded mozzarella cheese. Fresh basil, pepperoni, sausage, veggies, optional. Parmesan cheese, optional. Chili flakes, optional. Steps. Prepare dough. Mix warm water, sugar, and yeast. Let it foam for 5 to 10 minutes. Combine flour, salt, yeast mixture, and olive oil. Knead until smooth, 5 to 7 minutes. Let dough rise for 1 hour, covered. Make sauce. Saute garlic in olive oil. Add tomato sauce, oregano, basil, salt, and pepper. Simmer for 5 to 10 minutes. Preheat oven. Preheat oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit, 245 degrees Celsius. Shape dough. Punch down dough and roll out into a thin round or rectangle. Place on greased baking sheet or pizza stone. Add sauce and toppings. Spread sauce on dough, top with cheese, and add toppings. Bake. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes until crust is golden and cheese is bubbly. Slice and serve. Let cool slightly, slice, garnish with basil, and enjoy. Sausages, traditional Irish sausages served with bread or in a bun, sometimes with grilled onions or mustard. Sausages are a delicious and versatile food that can be enjoyed in many different ways. Whether you're grilling, pan-frying, baking, or adding them to stews, sausages can be a meal on their own or a key ingredient in various dishes. Here's a simple guide on how to cook sausages and serve them. 
Types of sausages. Pork sausages, classic. Beef sausages, often heartier, like hot dogs. Chicken sausages, leaner, often used for lighter dishes. Turkey sausages, another lean option. Vegetarian slash vegan sausages, made from plant based ingredients like soy, seitan, or beans. Cooking methods for sausages. Pan frying, stovetop. Heat a skillet over medium heat and add a small amount of oil or butter, optional, as sausages release fat as they cook. Add the sausages and cook, turning occasionally, for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown and cooked through. Make sure they are evenly cooked on all sides. Check the temperature. Use a meat thermometer to check if the internal temperature has reached 160 degrees Fahrenheit 71 degrees Celsius for pork or beef sausages and 165 degrees Fahrenheit 74 degrees Celsius for poultry sausages. Grilling Preheat the grill to medium-high heat. Place sausages directly on the grill and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning them every few minutes to ensure even cooking. Optionally, brush the sausages with a bit of oil or marinade for extra flavor. Sausages are ready when they are browned on the outside and the juices run clear. Baking. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. Arrange sausages on a baking sheet, leaving space between them. Bake for about 20 to 25 minutes, flipping them halfway through. They are done when golden and cooked through. Check the internal temperature to ensure they've reached the right level, 160 degrees Fahrenheit for pork, 165 degrees Fahrenheit for poultry. Boiling, for pre-cooking before grilling or pan-frying. Place sausages in a saucepan and cover with water, you can also use stock for extra flavor. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to simmer. Cook for 10 to 15 minutes. After boiling, you can grill or pan-fry the sausages for a crispier exterior. Slow cooking, for sausage stews or sausage and peppers. Brown the sausages in a skillet to get some color, optional. Transfer sausages to a slow cooker along with vegetables, broth, and any seasonings. Cook on low for 6 to 8 hours or on high for 3 to 4 hours until sausages are tender and have absorbed the flavors of the dish. Asian noodles, stir-fried or cold noodles with vegetables, meats, and a savory sauce. Simple Asian noodle recipes. 1. Simple ramen soup, Japan style. Ingredients. 1 packet of instant ramen, or fresh ramen noodles. 4 cups chicken or vegetable broth. 1 tablespoon soy sauce. 1 teaspoon miso paste, optional. 1 boiled egg, sliced. A quarter cup green onions, sliced. Toppings, sliced mushrooms, bok choy, nori, seaweed, sesame seeds, chili flakes. Instructions. Boil the broth in a pot. Add soy sauce and miso paste, if using, and stir until dissolved. Cook the ramen noodles according to package instructions, usually 2 to 4 minutes. Add the cooked noodles to the broth and let them soak in the flavor. Top with sliced boiled egg, green onions, mushrooms, bok choy, or any other toppings you like. Serve hot and enjoy. Waffles, Belgian-style waffles topped with a variety of toppings like whipped cream, fruit, and chocolate sauce. Waffles are a beloved breakfast or dessert treat, known for their crispy exterior and fluffy interior. They can be enjoyed with a variety of toppings, such as syrup, fruit, whipped cream, or chocolate. Here's a simple guide to making classic waffles from scratch. Basic Waffle Recipe Ingredients 2 cups all-purpose flour 2 tablespoons sugar 1 tablespoon baking powder Half a teaspoon salt 2 large eggs 1 and 3 quarters cups milk Half a cup melted butter or vegetable oil 1 teaspoon vanilla extract Instructions Preheat the waffle iron Plug in your waffle iron and allow it to heat up according to the manufacturer's instructions. Mix dry ingredients. In a large bowl, whisk together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Mix wet ingredients. 
In a separate bowl, beat the eggs, then add the milk, melted butter, or oil, and vanilla extract. Mix well. Combine wet and dry. Pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and stir until just combined. Do not overmix, lumps are okay. The batter should be thick, but pourable. If it's too thick, you can add a little more milk to reach your desired consistency. Cook the waffles. Lightly grease your waffle iron with cooking spray or a little butter. Pour an appropriate amount of batter into the preheated waffle iron, the amount will depend on the size of your waffle iron. Close the lid and cook for about 3 to 5 minutes, or until the waffles are golden brown and crisp. Serve and enjoy. Carefully remove the waffles from the iron and serve immediately with your favorite toppings. Smoothie bowls, frozen or blended fruit bowls topped with granola, nuts, seeds, and honey. Smoothie bowls are a delicious, healthy, and customizable breakfast or snack option. They are essentially thick smoothies served in a bowl and topped with a variety of delicious ingredients, such as fruit, granola, seeds, nuts, and drizzles of honey or nut butter. They are perfect for those who want a more filling, spoonable smoothie experience. Basic Smoothie Bowl Recipe Ingredients 1 frozen banana, for creaminess. Half a cup frozen berries, such as strawberries, blueberries, or mixed berries. Half a cup frozen mango, or pineapple, optional, for tropical flavor. Half a cup milk, dairy or plant-based, such as almond milk, oat milk, or coconut milk. Half a cup Greek yogurt, for creaminess and protein, optional. One tablespoon honey, or maple syrup, optional, for sweetness. Instructions. Blend the base. In a high-speed blender, combine the frozen banana, frozen berries, frozen mango, or pineapple, if using, milk, yogurt, if using, and honey-slash-maple syrup. Blend on high until smooth and thick. You may need to scrape down the sides of the blender to ensure everything blends evenly. Add a little more liquid, milk or water, if the mixture is too thick, but the consistency should be spoonable, not drinkable. Serve in a bowl. Pour the thick smoothie mixture into a bowl. The texture should be thick and creamy, almost like soft serve ice cream. Top with toppings. This is where you can get creative. Add a variety of toppings such as fresh fruit, sliced bananas, strawberries, blueberries, kiwi, or mango. Granola, for crunch. Chia seeds, hemp seeds, or flax seeds, for extra fiber. Nuts, almonds, walnuts, cashews, or peanuts. Nut butters, peanut butter, almond butter, or cashew butter. Coconut flakes, shredded or toasted. Cacao nibs or chocolate chips, for a little indulgence. A drizzle of honey or agave syrup. Enjoy. Grab a spoon and enjoy your nutritious, refreshing, and filling smoothie bowl. Churros, fried dough sticks dusted in cinnamon sugar often served with chocolate sauce for dipping. Churros are a delicious, crispy fried pastry that's popular in Spain, Latin America, and beyond. Typically served with a dusting of cinnamon sugar, they're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Churros are often enjoyed with a side of chocolate dipping sauce or a sprinkle of powdered sugar. Making churros at home is easier than you might think. Basic Churros Recipe Ingredients for the Churros 1 cup water. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 half TSP salt. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil or melted butter. 1 cup all-purpose flour. 2 large eggs. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 half TSP ground cinnamon, for coating. Vegetable oil for frying. Ingredients for the cinnamon sugar coating. Half a cup granulated sugar. 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. Ingredients for chocolate dipping sauce, optional. Half a cup heavy cream. Half a cup semi-sweet chocolate chips or chopped chocolate. 1 tablespoon sugar, optional. 1 half TSP vanilla extract, optional. Instructions. Prepare the dough. In a medium saucepan, combine the water, sugar, salt, and vegetable oil or melted butter. 
Bring the mixture to a simmer over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Once the mixture is simmering, add the flour all at once. Stir quickly with a wooden spoon until the dough comes together and forms a ball, pulling away from the sides of the pan. This should take about 1 to 2 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the dough feels smooth and slightly sticky. Remove the pan from the heat and allow the dough to cool for 5 minutes. Add the eggs and vanilla. Once the dough has cooled slightly, add the eggs one at a time, mixing each one in thoroughly before adding the next. The dough will look a bit lumpy at first, but keep mixing until smooth. Stir in the vanilla extract. Prepare the cinnamon sugar coating. In a shallow bowl or plate, mix together the sugar and cinnamon. Set aside. Heat the oil for frying. In a deep pot or large pan, heat about 2 to 3 inches of vegetable oil over medium-high heat. You want the oil to be hot, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius, but not smoking. Test the temperature by dropping a small amount of dough into the oil. If it sizzles and rises to the surface immediately, the oil is ready. Pipe the churros. Transfer the dough into a piping bag fitted with a large star tip, a half-inch star tip works great. Once the oil is hot, carefully pipe about 4 to 6 inch long strips of dough directly into the hot oil. Use scissors or your fingers to cut off the dough when it reaches the desired length. Fry the churros in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry until they're golden brown and crispy, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Drain and coat the churros. Once the churros are golden and crispy, use a slotted spoon to remove them from the oil and place them on a paper towel-lined plate to drain excess oil. While the churros are still warm, roll them in the cinnamon sugar mixture, ensuring they're fully coated. Make the chocolate dipping sauce optional. In a small saucepan, heat the heavy cream over medium heat until it just starts to simmer. Remove from heat and add the chocolate chips. Stir until the chocolate is fully melted and the sauce is smooth. If desired, add sugar for extra sweetness and vanilla extract for flavor. Pour the sauce into a small bowl for dipping. Serve and enjoy. Serve the churros warm with a side of chocolate dipping sauce, or enjoy them on their own with a dusting of powdered sugar. You can also drizzle the churros with a little caramel sauce or ice cream cones, soft serve or gelato often with fun toppings like sprinkles, chocolate flakes, or crushed biscuits. Ice cream cones are a classic treat, perfect for enjoying ice cream in a fun and portable way. While you can easily buy pre-made cones, making your own ice cream cones at home is surprisingly simple and adds an extra special touch to your ice cream experience. Below is a recipe to make homemade waffle cones or sugar cones, along with tips on how to shape and store them. Homemade Ice Cream Cone Recipe, Waffle Cone Style Ingredients 1 cup all-purpose flour Half a cup powdered sugar, or granulated sugar Half a teaspoon baking powder A quarter teaspoon salt 2 large eggs Half a teaspoon vanilla extract Half a cup unsalted butter, melted A quarter cup milk, dairy or plant-based a quarter teaspoon cinnamon, optional, for flavor. One to two tablespoons sugar, for sprinkling, optional. Instructions. Make the cone batter. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, powdered sugar, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon, if using. In a separate bowl, whisk the eggs, vanilla extract, and milk. Add the melted butter and mix well. Gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, mixing until you have a smooth batter. The batter should be somewhat thick, but spreadable, similar to pancake batter. Prepare the waffle cone maker. Preheat your waffle cone maker, if using one, according to the manufacturer's instructions. If you're using a nonstick pan or skillet, heat it over medium-low heat. You can also use a griddle for larger batches. Cook the cones. For a waffle cone maker, scoop a small amount of batter, about 2 to 3 tablespoons, onto the center of the hot waffle cone maker. Close the lid and cook for about 1 to 2 minutes, or until the batter is golden brown and crispy. For a non-stick skillet, lightly grease the skillet and spoon a small amount of batter, 
about two tablespoons, into the pan. Use the back of the spoon to spread it into a thin circle. Cook for about one to two minutes on each side until golden and crisp. Shape the cones. While the waffle is still hot and pliable, quickly remove it from the maker or skillet using a spatula and place it on a clean surface, such as parchment paper. Shape into a cone, immediately roll the hot waffle into a cone shape by folding one edge over the other and pinching the top. Be careful as the waffle will be hot. Allow the cones to cool and harden in the cone shape. If you don't have cone molds, you can roll the cone around the handle of a wooden spoon or a round object, like a glass, to maintain the shape while it cools. Optional, sugar-coated cones. For extra sweetness, you can dip the tops of the cones in sugar before they cool. Simply sprinkle or dip the top edge of the warm cone into a small bowl of granulated sugar, or cinnamon sugar for a fun twist. Cool and store. Let the cones cool completely on a wire rack or parchment paper. Once they're cooled, they will be crisp and ready to fill with your favorite ice cream. Store the cones in an airtight container at room temperature for up to one week. If they're too delicate, you can line the container with parchment paper to keep them from breaking.